Joining me now, stand-up comedians and political commentators, the Hodge twins, Kevin and Keith Hodge. Hey guys, how's it going? Going great. Thanks going for good. having us. It's funny every time someone gets caught, they just blame it on a hack, right? Uh, it's like right. it's like it's it's the go-to excuse. Right, and it's not like he tweeted something like vulgar. Right, he was just he meant to send a DM. So you're gonna double down and say I got hacked, and you just turn this whole situation into it just ruins your credibility. Yeah, all they all he had to do was just you know apologize. I thought I was sending a DM, you know. Yeah, just, my mistake. Yeah, I mean just to continue to double down and lie about it. Man, that's what makes things worse when you lie. You lose all your credibility. Yeah, and this guy's going to be the moderator for a debate. I can't trust this guy. <laughs> it's just, this guy's a moron. Yeah, it, it seems like the debate commission uh, hadn't been very fair when it came to picking out moderators or the host. Right. Uh, it seems like they tend to typically be pretty anti-Trump, and even if they're more of like a fair journalist, it doesn't really come off that way because it seems like they've been treating the Democrats a little bit better, including Harris. And we saw Biden last yeah. night at that town hall where it was uh, George Stephanopoulos who was the moderator of that, and he worked for the Bill Clinton administration, and he's a total sycophant for the Democrats, and he was pretty kind to Biden. That's his guy. He was nice. Yeah, not one question about the New York Post story. <laughs> not one. Didn't even allude to it. And then on the other on the other end of the table, they're just grilling Trump about his finances and how much money he's owed. Yeah, I would like to hear both candidates, uh, their uh, goals and mindset, how they want to take this country in the future. Definitely. That's and, what I want to hear. Yeah. And then uh, we watched the town hall with Savannah Guthrie and President Trump. And there was a woman in the background who kind of like stole the show. Uh, everyone was yeah. tweeting about her. She was in the background uh, nodding her head and she was agreeing with President Trump. We have video of it. Roll tape. People don't like it when I say it, but a lot of people agree. I have done more for the African-American community than any president with the exception of Abraham Lincoln. Criminal justice reform, prison reform, historically black colleges and universities. I got them funded. They were on a year-to-year -year basis. They could have been put out of business. As soon as our country had a little bad year, they would have said, I'm sorry, we're not going to fund you. I got them 10-year funding and financing and more than they even asked for. So do, you, do we know who this lady is? Uh, man, she's amazing to me. I don't even need to know who she is. She's got a brain. <laughs> Literally half this country do not have brains. And everything the uh, president said was a verifiable fact, what he's did for the black community. Everything. It's not like he's lying. Everything he said was a f actual fact. You know, so, there's a saying that says sometimes the truth hurts, but that shouldn't hurt. He pointed out several things he's did for blacks. Yeah. Black people should be more appreciative of what he's done. Yeah. But for some odd reason, black people want to be upset. They don't want to hear it. Yeah, they, they're mad at this woman for nodding her head in agreement. <laughs> you can't even be in agreement with the president. You go viral. Yeah. It's, it's like... They'll try to call her a racist, but uh, I'm not sure how that's going to work out for them. Uh, really quickly, you, right. you, you guys kind of pointed this out, that Biden was not asked one time about Hunter Biden's email bombshell released by the New York Post. Uh, pretty incredible story. Shows that maybe Joe Biden knew a little bit more about Hunter Biden's shady dealings with Burisma and Ukraine and some of the deals he had in China. And, I mean, it's just uh, the pictures that we saw that came from th the laptop <laughs> from this computer store in Delaware. I mean, this yeah. is totally out of control. Imagine, I mean, Don Jr., if he looks at somebody the wrong way, there's, like, headlines yeah. around the world. Meantime, Hunter Biden can be sleeping with a crack pipe in his mouth, and everyone's like, oh, well, like, you know, it's kind of sad. I mean, it is sad that he has a drug problem, but no one's going to, no one treats Don Jr. like this. Yeah, this right. guy's a total moron. I've I've had la laptops break down on me, and I don't take them. I just go buy a new one because I know what's on my laptop. I'm like, <laughs> I know these people are going to be looking over my laptop. I'm going to take right. this. And this dude took all this stuff in. He's got pictures of him on crack, smoking crack, uh, sexual acts, yeah. talking to foreign governments, how he's going to use his, his, his dad's um, vice president uh, to help make money for the entire family. It's like, it's this is insane. Yeah, it looked like he would have checked in with his dad. Say, hey, dad, you know the deals I've, you know, worked out overseas. You know, I don't yeah. want to take this laptop in. Do you got a guy you can trust <laughs> that can well, fix this then, laptop and, at home? It's he like, and the then he didn't go back to pick it up. It's He definitely had the money yeah. to pay for the laptop. He just uh, maybe forgot about it. Again, you know, I don't know the how we ended up 
knowing about what was in this laptop. I mean, that's a whole nother story. Yeah. It's not, I didn't independently verify where they got all this information, right. but those photos appear real. It's, it sounds like Hunter Biden's not denying that that's him. Uh, and really right. the Biden campaign hasn't really done much to deny what we've learned in this story. And we know that Hunter worked for Burisma. Uh, we know that he had deals with China. And so the yeah. question was, was he using his dad's influence to help him with these deals? It's like pretty obvious. Uh, he admitted in an ABC interview that if he didn't have his last name, he probably wouldn't be getting these gigs and uh, the New York Post posted those pictures of him not to be mean but to show that this isn't the type of person who would be leading a big energy company in Ukraine like right. with no experience by the way like I don't think yeah. Biden Hunter Biden could hold just a regular just a regular minimum wage job and then there's nothing wrong with minimum wage jobs but I don't think he could hold one Right. Well, this is everything the left hates. They hate privilege, especially white privilege, and he's the textbook case of that. <laughs> he's been kicked out of the military. Yeah. He even took the laptop to him because he forgot all about his laptop because more than likely he was probably high. I mean, he's got he's been afforded all these opportunities in life when he don't deserve them. What's he's a textbook case of privilege. Yeah, what's crazy is this information was get, given to the FBI. The guy at the, uh, the computer store, he didn't hear nothing back. He gives it to Rudy Giuliani, and then the story comes out. So Which it's pretty like, much points out that the FBI who received this information initially might be there's some corruption there. Yeah. Oh, man, it's crazy. I mean, Hunter Biden is a total mess, and mainstream media looks the other way on him. And it's just annoying, the hypocrisy and how they treat, like, the Trump family members. I mean, just, mm -hmm. what was it last year we learned that Hunter Biden got a stripper pregnant in D.C., and then he didn't want to pay her child support, so she had to take him to court. Then he had to end up right. paying for it. And uh, I bring that up because I used to walk uh, past that strip club every day in D.C. It was, like, <laughs> two blocks from my office. So I remember some of the, our reporters went down there to see if they could get uh, a scoop, but no one wanted yeah, to talk. Yeah, that is. <laughs> dude, dude leaving laptops with all this information on it, and the dude's having... Sex with a stripper, unprotected, okay. just, Jesus. just reckless, Stephanie. <laughs> He's reckless. Yeah, not good, not good at all. Anyways, I gotta run, guys. Thank you. All right, all right. Thank you for having us.